I told you John Gotti the Teflon Don was untouchable. In order to take over the Gambino crime family, he had his boss executed outside of a steakhouse. Gotti is a rare breed, but as someone was tragically run over by a neighbor, he came over to apologize. It was speculated he was beat down and dissolved in acid. Gotti turned homicide into a science fan. He was acquitted of racketeering three separate times. Government prosecutors ought to retake those LSATs, stupid. When Frank Sinatra bailed on dinner with the Don, he said the next time you make an excuse, I'll be the last face you ever see on the surf. God damn it, I love canceled plans. He was granted dental furloughs in prison, where he'd be escorted to an appointment before sneaking out the back door, change into a Gucci suit to entangle with his wife, and return as a public hat, the ultimate conscience. During his 1986 trial, he avoided prison time by paying a juror off $60,000, so he was sentenced to three years behind bars himself. The game is great. In 1985, he narrowly escaped death. When conspirators detonated a car they thought he was riding, his brother had more lives than 50 cents. He got strapped. 